fleets and consumers are starting to adopt electric vehicles, but we need to move to faster and faster charging speeds, what we're calling ultra-fast. We need consumers and fleets to be able to charge at 10 to 20 minutes. But that requires a level of infrastructure that just isn't available on commercial sites today. The real challenge is how do we get power where we need it to make sure that we can charge those vehicles and support electrification. And we can't rely on the utilities. We can't rely on costly and time-consuming construction projects to really get us there. The fully integrated charging technology that we've developed is really exciting. The uniqueness of their product is the embedded battery system. We can deploy our charging infrastructure quickly, at a lower cost, and in more locations than anyone else can. By leveraging seven years of development, multiple product launches, and long-standing support of our investors and customers alike, Freewire will play an instrumental role in shaping the next generation of electrification. A lot of what we hear is that there's range anxiety and uh, folks just, you're used to being able to see a gas station on every corner. Well, with EVs, the more that we can get infrastructure out, like the fast charging that we have here today, the more we're gonna have folks that are gonna adopt EVs and help with the sustainability goals. And that'll be a very positive outcome. This is from start to finish, probably a three hour install, including the removal of a level two charger, pulling the wire, getting the boost placed on top, and you've got 40 tons of power now in about three hours. We have the L2 chargers, um, three kilowatt outputs, and to upgrade to 120, no brainer. So the free wire having the integrated battery, lower demand charges, mitigating that, that was really important to us and very exciting. And when searching all the different DC fast charging vendors, and we have some pretty solid relationships with some of the other ones, we took the leap. We took the leap into the free wire because of the infrastructure requirements versus other DC fast chargers. We can now deploy charging at a much faster pace than the industry otherwise could have. And we can deploy charging in more locations. We're trying to make electrification sustainable, not only from a charging the vehicle standpoint, but from running your business operations standpoint. And the battery inside of the boost charger enables that to happen. Our software platforms and the controls that we've developed and the energy storage that we're deploying on our customer sites helps those customers move from a world where power and energy is centralized to one where power and energy is decentralized. This is great for resiliency, it is great for lower costs, and it's just great for peace of mind. Um, I've got control of my energy and I know it's not gonna go out when I need it most. We unlock those distributed energy services for those customers, thinking about not just the problems today, but the problems that will exist in two years, in five years, and in 10 years.